All right, if you are in the Periscope or YouTube land, shoot me a comment so I know that you guys are alive out there because I'm on Restream. And if I'm on Restream, that means I don't know you're there unless you comment. For those of you in Periscope land and YouTube, what's up, Tally? What's up, Charlie? Is uh, Jaron Allen in the house yet? I haven't seen him. <clears throat> Hello, Michelle. Hippie in the Hills is here. Jared Allen is here. Right on. Awesome. Pink Turtle is here. Is this your first time, Pink Turtle? I will have not recognized the name. Um, <clears throat> I will say it again, guys. If you're in Periscope land or YouTube, shoot me a comment because I'm restreaming and that's the only way I know you're there. Lee Kenton, welcome. Zebulon Dawson, hello. All right. Oh, well, Pink Turtle says it's her first time on, uh, coming to the show. So you guys know what to do. Give Pink Turtle a round of applause, a, a round of hellos for joining us today. <laughs> Charlie says hello to Pink Turtle. Egan in Florida, how are you doing? All right. See, guys, see how accommodating you guys are. And, and here's what's funny. We have our own language. We have our own rules here. And we have, our, we have our own little community in which we operate. Oh, and my General Jen is in the house. So Periscope is being taken care of. Welcome, Jen. I hope you've had a good weekend. And right on. We have some new people in Instagram land and they are, and they are getting acquainted. As I mentioned, we have rules, we have, we have law, we have order here in, in our little community. And uh, Pink will soon find out how we operate. All right, so a couple things, guys. I, you know, I, I actually, I was trying to think of what I put together as um, my topics today. And, oh, so here's, here, so I wanted to do this bit on distraction today because there is a lot of distraction going out. You guys on Instagram can't see animal. There you go. He's, he's here. All right. So I wanted to talk about distraction and I don't, I don't normally, uh, hang out on Instagram. I don't find the platform. I, I, I just don't like it. It just, it doesn't, it doesn't work for me. Yes. I like going live talking to you guys and the people I interact with on Instagram are pretty much all <laughs> popping into the show this morning. But for me, I just find it a, a, a um, I don't know, a vapid, uh, platform, like it's more for pictures and visuals than ideas where I, I consider Periscope, I consider, uh, Twitter more of an idea platform. They all have their issues and they are all snapping down on, well, what we call free speech and what they call whatever they want to call it. Anyway, my point being <laughs> my my point being is have you guys ever been if you use instagram i would imagine you guys mess around with the explore page well here's what i've noticed about the explore page now i have two accounts the one i'm speaking to you on now which is the art of charm account and i also have my personal uh instagram account you can find that in john underscore zubat um, and both of them on the explore page s sort of show the same thing. Yeah. It's all about Jennifer says it's all about booty. That's what I want to talk about. Is every, so if now for, for Jen, for you who just mentioned that and for you guys who are watching from Instagram, obviously my art of charm account is has tons of self-development people that we follow, inspirational people, workout people. 
But how come the Explore page is nothing but girls in yoga pants? That is it. It's full of girls in yoga pants or tiny little track and field outfits and one Black Lives Matter post. So it's like, here's all this booty. Oh yeah, and Black Lives Matter. That's what, and then on my, on my personal page, because I use the tag rock and roll or Hollywood glam or things like that, it's, it's rather than girls in yoga pants and athletic uniforms on track, it is, it is tattoo girls. <laughs> Like, it's rock and roll tattoo girls. Most of the girls on the thing are t just tattooed, but they're not even rock and roll girls. I have not posted anything about tattoos. In fact, considering some of my friends, I'm tattooless. I have a couple meaningful ones. That's another story, but I'm not a tattooed guy. Oh, Jen is, uh, Charlie says that's all your fault, Jen. That's, the booty pics are all yours. Um, Jen says she was told that she has to post booty pics to have an account. Terms of service. <laughs> well, Charlie says he likes to do the yoga pants. Now here's, so this goes into the, I, well, to the topic that I wanted to discuss with you guys today. How is anybody supposed to concentrate on their life in making gains because the better you are, the better your world is around you and the better your life is. So those are the things that you should be focused on. How are you able to focus on these things when every time you flip on Instagram, it's booty pics. Now, what I want to know is for you ladies, who are watching this stream. So Jennifer tells me hers is nothing but booty pics. So is yours like athletic sweaty guys on, on Instagram doing their workout thing or, or uh, washing the dishes in a, <laughs> in an apron or out there working on the car? Is that what you ladies Instagram explore pages are about or or do you ladies just get fed more ladies where you're constantly in a mode of, of having to switch in a compare and contrast, which it's all about who you follow, what you follow. Well, Christina, <laughs> Tally says, hold on. She's going to check. I want you, I want to know Christina. So it's a, you said it's all about what you follow. I don't follow yoga accounts on either of my Instagram. It just might say that in my profile that I am male and that I'm straight and it feeds me. There, uh, Christina says compare and contrasting. I don't, Pink Turtle says, I don't see any pics of guys or girls. I get loads of wildlife pics and moms with kids. Well, you might be the exception to the rule. Well, that's, that's good to hear. I'm glad everyone's just not getting fed booty pics, but my, my point in this, and, and I don't, because the Art of Charms account is, is self-development, fitness, right? So I just get ped, I just get fed yoga pants and, 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 and I mean, when I say the girls are on the track wearing athletic uniforms. I don't mean that in a, in any other way other than the tiniest shorts and athletic tops. I mean, it's can I, I'm just going to be honest as a guy, I find it incredibly distracting. Uh, so we have a, uh, Instagram, uh, Periscope guy says, I'm here for the purpose of self-expression. I hope that is okay by you. Well, I don't really know what that means, but General Jen is the moderator over there in Periscope land, so she's gonna let you know <laughs> whether or not 
your self-expression is appreciated in our forum. So we'll see how that works. Um, so, so this goes into this idea of if the better you are, the better your world is around you, which is the, the better your, your life is. Now, if I'm, every time that I'm switching on to Instagram, my, so just says I don't follow any beauty Instagrammers. My entire feed is all makeup fitness posts and it makes me interested in using, less interested. It makes me less interested in using the program. Yeah, I mean, it's when you, as this Jen says, she's looking at her explore page. This is the thing. I don't want to go on to Instagram if I, I'm going to get badgered by this stuff. Now here's, it's, it's more likely to use a platform that's idea and text-based. Yeah, well for myself it is because I'm focused on putting out the certain messages. Now, here's the thing about it. You can say more in a picture than you can in 280 characters. But in, as we talked about marketing a few weeks ago, and I was talking about the importance of optics and the emotional pull and the emotions that you want to have in your optics in order to persuade somebody to click on the picture, to click on a marketing message, to click into action. The pictures need to be explosive with emotions. The, the most powerful emotions that you can invoke is in somebody is desire. Why? Because it's rooted in our most powerful and basic instinct, sex, to procreate. And I even made this joke that it has taken me into my 40s where I'm actually able to concentrate on a thought and work through it without getting sidetracked by the, the strongest emotional need and want and desire pool in the human consciousness. It's awful. I mean, <laughs> and so when you, when you exploit that, and of course that's what Instagram models are going to want to do because that's how you get likes and clicks and, and the rest of the stuff. I mean, the pictures that I, I are, a lot of them are highly suggestive. That's about probably the best way I can say that. But my, the, the point in that is when we're talking about being focused on our lives, the smallest amount of a conscious emotional pool, when you realize, so let's say that you go onto the Instagram discover page, you see some of these posts and you're, and you clicked on one of the picture and before you know it, you're looking at a timeline and you, you say to yourself, Oh, what am I doing? I got to get out of here. This is stupid. Okay, that might have been five minutes of your time, but that's you being hyper conscious of the activity that you've, that you've invested in. How much of that time is unconscious? How much of that time is just sweeping through? Now, I realize this because I've been saying on this show since we've started it in March, which was social media in all of its glory is, is the, the psychological experiment that has gone, that has gone awry. We, we are now paying the price of sensationalism, a screen in our faces at all times, messaging, and a, and a culture war that has spilled out over into the street. <laughs> Tally, stop. Tally says her explore page is nothing but Joe Biden sniffing kids. Okay. <laughs> you made me laugh. But here we are trying to be pro productive and trying to work on ourselves. And we have all this distraction. So 
I just wanted to know from you guys who were on Insta what your Explore page was like. And I wanted to bring that up because I had noticed it. As I said, it was nothing but athletic girls. And they're all like late teens, early 20s. It's utterly ridiculous. How can anybody concentrate when your feet is full? I don't, you know, to tell you the truth, I wouldn't even know how to get rid of all that stuff if I could. <laughs> is, there a, is there a filter where I could say enough with the girls in yoga pants on my Explore page? The other thing is I'd rather see all of you guys. I would rather see all of the, everyone that I follow in my Explore page. Why am I being... And who knows? This account has been open for a long time. Maybe we follow some of these yoga. I'll, I'll go through and look, but it's re, it's ridiculous. I just wanted to see if everyone else is. However, Jen says it. It's nothing but booty pics for her as well. I mean, isn't that the whole point to keep you on the app as long as possible? Go to IG settings, clear your history. I just looked it up. Ah, good. Thank you very much. Yeah, I would rather see Charlie's post and Tally's post and Jared Allen's post and Hippie the Hills post. Uh, it will reset. Good. That's what I'm going to do. Now, let's talk about staying focused. One of the one of the my main points of contention in the human experience. Because this is going to be our new superpower. The idea of focus is going to be the one thing that allows us to enrich our lives, which in turn makes our life better, which in turn makes the lives of those people around us better. And this is the idea of being the, the sun in your universe in which all the other planets revolve. Why? Because of its strong magnetic pull. Why does the sun have a strong magnetic pull? Well, it's certainly a, a lot of laws of relativity and, and space and gravity and how all that works. But also look what the sun provides all those planets. And certainly the one that keeps ours in a place where it is inhabitable by what we consider intelligent beings <laughs> and we don't blow ourselves up in the process now you as a person should see yourself as somewhat of the sun the center and we can do this in two ways whereas you can think of yourself as the center of the universe and be a completely selfish, self-absorbed person where you, where you envision the world where it is all swirling around you and you are the center of that universe. It is easy to have that perspective. Why? It is easy to have that perspective because the only way a human being has to observe the world without outside tools, such as math and telescopes and microscopes and the rest of these things, outside of that is for only from our observable behaviors. Our observable uh, views of everything. That puts us in the center of everything. Because the only way that we have to view the world around us is from our own senses. So it's an easy issue. It is an easy problem to, to consider yourself the center of the universe. In fact, it is a first default. And as you become a, an individual, as you become self-aware, as you become of age into a thinking sentient being that has agency, when is that? Usually early preteens, 10, 11, you start to figure it out. You start to see things from that point of view as you get older in the teenage years. 
it becomes an overwhelming sensation to where you are, are so self-absorbed, you end up tending to be high on the narcissist scale because the only way that you have to make sense of the world is through your own senses. It's not until you get old enough to start using other tools and other methods and gain experience and knowledge that you are not the center of the universe. But here's the issue and problem that we're running into, that we are now carrying these devices in all of our pockets that sort of perpetuate that idea that we're the center of the universe when you're getting all this information set directly to you. It becomes an extension of you. But once again, we get into this argument that it's a tool like anything else and it's how you use it. But what do you think a narcissistic teenager is going to use their phone for? Do you actually think they're going to use it responsibly as a way to discover the, the rest of the world and use it, this tool, objectively? Or do you think they are going to use it to feed their natural narcissistic tendencies of being a, a young person? <laughs> Tally says porn and video games. That's exactly right. What do you think porn and video games are? They are a perpetuation of putting you in the center of your world. They feed into your narcissism. I mean, that's, the, the, as I mentioned last week, yeah, it's a tool. Yeah, okay, our phones are a tool. Our phones are, if, if, if a hammer is a tool, then it's a jackhammer. Try putting in a, a hanging up a picture in your home with a jackhammer. See how that works. Yeah, I'm raging today. <laughs> so now we have, a, we have a generation of young people who tend to be on the narcissism spectrum due to their life experience, it's natural, then to perpetuate and amplify those feelings through the jackhammer of information tools that we have. Now, Charlie says, I do not think this, natural, this behavior is natural or healthy. Well, the point I'm making about it, Charlie, is that as when you are younger, as a teenager, on the narcissism spectrum, you, you tend to be a bit more narcissistic due to your inexperience in the world and using the tools to objectively look at it. I wouldn't say that you are, no, that, that young people who are healthy are narcissistic to a harmful degree. They just tend to be a bit narcissistic as they don't have any, they don't have much real, real world experience. So, it is very important that we line up goals, principles, and ideals that allow us to stay focused on a daily level of our goals and aspirations so that we don't get distracted by the ample amount of booty pics <laughs> that are on our Instagram Explore page. Tally says you have to learn to transition from service to self to service to others. Yes, 100%. But I will put a spin to that, Tally, in the service of self. And this is the whole Ayn Rand idea of objectivism, where you do the things you need to do for yourself because all tides rise, all ships, so to speak. So if you are working to make yourself better, you will inevitably make the world around you better. Now, that is not a final, and I don't believe that to its fullest extent, it's sort of like anything that there is nuance in the idea. However, 
as somebody who's spent the last 15 years, 17 years working in self-development, the better you are, the better your world is, and the better it is for those around you, which puts us back to the idea of I want you and I want for myself to be somewhat of the sun in our own solar system where we make those around us better. We, we, we um, omit, is that the word I want, or, or exhibit, the things that others need in order to feel great, right? The, when we give, and this goes back to Tali's idea of being service to others, where you are adding value to the world around you on a daily basis. To healing minds says, sun thumbs up to the world. Yes, we want to be the sun to our world. We want to be the sun to our world around us. Now, there's all sorts of crazy metaphors that we could play where you don't want to get too close to the sun, you might get burnt. That's not what I'm referring to. I want you to be a system of life for those around you. Where if you are a high value person, if you are going to be the sun and you are solar system, then you will attract the right people to you, the right ideas to you. You will perpetuate those ideas. You will send a ripple effect to those who revolve around you. And when you are preaching the right ideas to those people around you, you make the world better from where you are. And that's what we are going to constantly do from this platform, from our world, with you guys and animal. That's what we're going to do. We are going to be the sun of our universes. And in order to do that, we're going to need to be able to concentrate. We're going to need to be able to focus on the task at hand. Because why? Look around you. Go on social media. It seems that everyone is losing their minds. It seems that we're in what could be a, a mass psychosis. Well, let's wake people up to great ideas of looking to build themselves up so that they are able to build up the world around themselves. It's General McChrystal has that old saying of to clean your room, right? Don't be messing in other people's lives until you have yours on track first and then start working out from there. You know, lots of people have, have stated this. That is an old rule in the Bible. It's all Jordan Peterson's been saying it. General McChrystal has been saying it. I believe that General McRaven has been saying it as well. So when you take care of yourself, you start to, uh, to admit these ideas and these actions that others then will adopt. We will cause the ripple effect and we are going to make the world a better place from our place in the world. I want to thank everyone for coming out today. And guys, I missed you all yesterday. I had a meeting, but I'll be here tomorrow at 8.30 a.m. PST. If you enjoyed what I had to talk about today and you want to learn more, check out the Art of Charm Communication Accelerator. It is all our best parts from our online classes, live training programs, expert guests over the last 15 years, and the world of influence, persuasion, networking, and self-development. You can find the Art of Charm Communication Accelerator in the link tree, in the bio of Instagram and Twitter, and in the description of YouTube. Let's go through our comments. <coughs> Charlie, you have a great day too. <clears throat> San free alo. Alo, is that German? H-A-L-O. Tally says, right on. Yes, hearts for us and, and animal. I want to thank my General Jen for helping us out today. Uh, Sarah Avid joined. Good to see you. It will reset. Yes, I will try that, Tally. Thank you for looking that up for me. Uh, my Explore page has show mine. That's hilarious. Uh, the Rockstar CEO had joined. Hello, how are you doing? Nick Gallagher, how are you doing today? All right, guys. Uh, Jess, thank you for telling me that. 
Yeah, this is the thing. When all you do is get into the sex pics, it just, for some of us, it just gets to the point of too much. When you're young, you're, you can stare at booty pics all day. In fact, it's probably good for you. As you get older, it becomes nothing but nonsense and and it you realize just how much time you spend on the wrong things and then you wonder why the certain aspects of your life are not as good as you'd like them to be because you haven't had the opportunity to give them the attention that you are given booty pics to. Imagine what your life would be like if you were to give that attention that you give booty pics to the problems that you have in your life. How about I leave? <laughs> How about I leave the show with that note, right? Imagine all the time that you spend on, on booty pics that you can give that attention to your life and all those aspects of, the, of life that you could have some trouble. I just got a message from that says somebody wants to fight me. Oh, <laughs> that's, that is uh, the world in a nutshell. I'm, I'm already getting hate messages. All right, guys, I gotta run. I have other things to do. Um, and uh, this is awesome. All right, guys, I will talk to you guys later. See you all tomorrow, 8.30. Brussie says, uh, Charlie says, no Germans. All right, guys, you all take care.